Rockstar, it's time to move on with your game. <clears throat> we don't want another GTA 5 in graphics and enhanced edition. It's been on all platforms. Time to move on. Stop milking GTA 5. We're all fed up. Most of us need to stop buying shark cards and add-ons to the game, which most of us probably did. Some of us probably didn't believe in buying them. But the thing is, we all need to put, pull our weight and oh, the glasses again and pull ourselves together. We want a new game. We don't want this game anymore. But sometimes it's like you're forcing us to play the same game, Rockstar, even though we have a choice to play your game. You know, people will come back to your game and say it's a fantastic game, one of the best games going. But obviously you don't want that to happen, Rockstar, do you? You want people to just keep playing the same game over and over again. As long as you make the money on the cars, the shark cards, the DLC add-ons and everything else, sod everybody else. That's how it feels to us, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We're just playing the game because we enjoy it which we do, but it's time to put different areas on the game, new places to explore. And another thing, I'm sick of these new vehicles that you keep bringing out all the time and time trials and car racing all the time. It's boring. Upgrade the missions, put new bloody missions in the game. So they're the same bloody missions. You only seem to do missions when there's a heist on the game. Then you put new missions on there, new properties. Regardless from that, why do you think Lindsay Benzie and uh, Dan Hauser left your company? Because they were fed up. They wanted other stuff in the game, like extra story modes in GTA V. More DLCs, but you didn't want to do that. So do you reckon Lindsay Benzie and Dan Hauser make a game called Everything? Or is it just one or the other? Free, but uh, there's one at the corner, Everything Free. Clearly, you don't care about your subscribers, the people that actually put you in your place, Rockstar, the people that actually made you and put you in your company. Without all our help, you wouldn't have been in the place you are today. We put you in that place, all of us that support your game, follow your game, and buy your game, fund your habit and your lifestyle, we all put you there. Without, without our help, you wouldn't be there. So it would be nice to have a bit of gratitude, Rockstar, actually listen to the people in your community if they say they want this in the in the game you should listen to them you should take their ideas fair enough it's your company and your ideas but you should always listen to the people that follow you subscribe to you follow your channel the people that put you in your your place where you are without none of our help you would have no company no business so thanks to all of us you should give us a bit more appreciation in my opinion Change your game, change the way it is, because if you don't change the way it is, you're going to lose a lot of people following your game, which you probably already have. Or some people do actually come back to your game and enjoy your game when there's a new DLC that comes out. Time to move on. Make your game better. Or you could just remaster GTA 4 again, that people wanted that on the PS4. Even though you can play GTA 4 on the PS3, PC, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, GTA 4. Why can't you remaster GTA 4 to the PS4? Or PS5 GTA 4? Or the new Xbox GTA 4? Standalone edition. Even though you can play GTA 4 from the Xbox One to the new Xbox backwards compatibility. Probably. See what I mean? Why talk about GTA 3? Why are you going to remaster GTA 3, are you? Are you going to put GTA 3 in a trilogy bundle? So if that is the case, you've been going to have GTA 3 in the Trilogy Bundle, 20, year old, 20 years anniversary for GTA 3. Does that mean GTA Vice City is going to be in there? San Andreas? Will you put all these games on multiplayer online for people to play? These are all the questions that I want to know and be answered, doesn't most people? So I am kind of getting sick of playing your game. There's probably a few people that want to, don't want to play it again. But I keep coming back to your game for some reason because I think to myself, maybe one day Rockstar will understand and realise. You know, all of us are frustrated. You're the ones in your company that are supposed to keep giving us the ideas. We should not be giving you the ideas. It's your game, it's your company, it's how you run it. You run it your way. It's like you need a big kick up the arse, personally. At least Ubisoft had the right idea. They communicate with their fans on Twitter and YouTube. Do you? Only when it suits you, Rockstar. That's how it feels to me and everybody else. Some people may not like what I'm saying, but I'm telling the truth. It's the truth from my way. Not everybody sees it my way. 
which is great. I don't force them to. But please make your game better. People want your game to be better. It could be one of the bestest games on the, the planet. Or it could, go, it could go downhill. The choice is yours, Rockstar. We're there to buy your game, support your game. Without which you wouldn't be big in the world. But anyway, I don't know what else to say in this video. Thank you for joining me, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me what you think about this. Am I right or am I wrong? Time to move on and start a new game. And start afresh, in my opinion. It's 2021. Up to you. You'd make a lot more money in GTA 6 than GTA 5. But obviously, you'd, you'd make too much money in GTA 5. How much more money do you make in GTA 6? Anyway, thank you, Jeremy. See you next video. Peace.